Hey guys, it's Brie. I hope you're having a fantastic reading week. Um, I wanted to talk to you about Crosstalk by Connie Willis. Crosstalk is one of those kind of books that really intimidated me for a long time because Connie Willis has like the big name and the really big book. <laughs> and it just seemed like I was going to get myself in over my head. Some of her other books, like To Say Nothing of the Dog, have been really intimidating for me as well. And I know that she's known for being able to do really humorous stuff, but it seemed like a lot of what she does is really heavy. And so I got myself into this headspace where it was like, I just don't know if I want to read this. But I finally picked it up and I finished it and guys, I had nothing to be worried about. <laughs> Crosstalk is the story of a woman named Brittany who works at this company. And she has a boyfriend who she really loves and a super nosy family who drive her nuts uh, and some kind of quirky, gossipy co-workers, all that jazz. And Brittany and her boyfriend are about to get an EED, which is basically a device that lets you feel other people's emotions. Her coworker comes up to her and says, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Her family comes up to her and says, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. But for the most part, people are really excited because, hey, that's romantic, right? And what Brittany doesn't realize is that there can be side effects. In fact, no one really knew the kind of side effects she would be feeling, which is that all of a sudden, She's telepathic. And of course, chaos ensues. She doesn't want her boyfriend to know that she's become telepathic because you're supposed to only be able to read the emotions of people you're really emotionally connected to when she's got like her weirdo basement coworker talking to her. Um, and so she's like running around town trying to figure out how to not be telepathic but to still feel his emotions and like, oh my God, what do I do kind of nonsense. It's really light. It's really fun. I enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> that being said, this is not one to like pick up and expect some huge social commentary on. Uh, there's a little bit of some talk about what does it mean to have yourself be like socially connected to everyone and when is connection too much, right? When is it that like you need to take a break from Facebook and Twitter and constantly texting? Um, but for the most part, it's kind of just a fun jaunt. It, it reminded me of the kind of book that I would have loved in high school, like Stephanie Plum kind of stuff, where it's just, it's, it's light and fun. Like you could really sit down and finish. I don't know if you could finish this one in a day because it's so thick, but like in a couple days, like it's a super beach read kind of feel to it, or at least that's how I feel about it. Um, but enjoyable nonetheless, and of course has the beautiful cover. <laughs> if you've read Crosstalk, let me know what you think about it. Um, CB is her creepy coworker, and I'm a little in love with him. Little in love. <laughs> and her family is hilarious, so I, I think you are, if you have similar tastes to me, you will be in for just kind of a fun light read. I hope you are having a fantastic reading week. You know the drill. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.